All right, welcome back, everyone. This is Ebony again, aka Fit Mom Diva of Simplicity Health Style. And today we have Miss Priscilla with us. How are you, Priscilla? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I am awesome. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to connect with us, you guys. She is an awesome lady that is going to share jewels with us. She's very successful in the online space and she's just a wonderful person. I really want you to listen to the end because she really is a genuine person that truly cares about you. If you do stick around to the end, you will have an opportunity to earn a complimentary gift as well as my appreciation for doing so. So Priscilla, start us off just yes. so that we get to know a little bit about you and share a motivational quote that really inspires and encourages you. Yeah, so this is actually one that I've kind of lived by since I was a teenager. Um, and it's life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. Um, I just, I just feel like, you know, things always happen in life. And no matter, like how big of a planner you are, like I'm a huge planner, things sometimes just don't always pan out. And I think it's more about how you react to that and how you kind of like overcome it and come out of it. That's what really defines you as a person. So I think that's like my favorite quote of all time. And I'm always trying to share it with people. Yeah, and I truly, truly believe that. I think that sometimes people can go through the same exact experience. And one person will think it's like doom and gloom and oh my gosh, the world is caving in <laughs> on me. And the other person will be like, okay, well that happened, but there's so much more life for me to live and I'm gonna keep on trucking over this way. <laughs> so I really exactly. believe that 90% is reaction. And the other thing about it is that I think that after a few days, we don't even care about that situation. <laughs> it might seem like, more dramatic in the moment. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Some of the things that have occurred in my life, they may have felt terrible in the, in the moment that it was happening. But as mm -hmm. the things progressed, I almost kind of like forgot about it. And it didn't take a whole long time to forget about it either. Now, of course, that's going to mm -hmm. depend on how significant the issue is. But I've had really significant things happen too that... I don't know. I don't know if it's a gift or what, but I'm usually able to just focus on the other good things in life. And my mind is so focused on my next thing that I leave that behind. I learn from it and just leave it behind. I can't control it, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. You just have to learn from it and just, just know that this happens to everybody, not just to you. I mean, there's always going to be something in someone's life that goes wrong. So it's just more about, okay, what can I do to overcome this? How can I fix this so it doesn't happen in the future? What steps can I take right now, you know, to make the situation better? So I think just kind of like remembering that this literally happens to everybody, not just you. And it right. will get better as long as you don't, you know, dwell on it. So yeah, that's just one of my all time favorite quotes. <laughs> Yes, I totally agree with it's not just you. I think it's very uh, naive <laughs> to think that you're the only one that experienced things. Mm -hmm. I think it's just that, you know, people, people process in and deal with things differently. So if you have that mindset of you are not the only one <laughs> that is experiencing all this stuff, everybody experiences stuff, learn how mm -hmm. to learn from it and then also yes. surround yourself with people that are gonna help support you. The more support you have, you only you don't even need a whole entourage. One or two people sometimes is sufficient. Can totally. You talk, can you talk a little bit about a time in your life where that was exactly the case, where maybe you didn't necessarily see the light at the end of the tunnel, and you had to overcome some obstacles and some things that maybe you weren't expecting, but at the end of the day, you were able to see that goal or that dream to fruition. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I grew up performing and singing, which kind of led me to um, enter the pageant world as a young teenager, probably like 15 or 16. So I was competitively competing in pageants for about six or seven years. Um, and, you know, it's a very competitive industry. So the one title I really wanted to win was Miss San Antonio, because that's where I'm from, born and raised. So I, it actually took me, the first year that I competed, I was first runner up, which is Yay. really close, but of course, you know, right there, but you don't get it. Um, so the next year I came back kind of with like a very positive attitude, but I, I was, you know, thinking this is going to be my year. And again, I was first runner up <laughs> and wow. it was, um, that, that was actually uh, challenging for me that year because I think I thought, you know, hey, this is going to be my year. So I just made sure to keep 
trying to improve myself to just stay positive. And I went for a third time. And that year is the year that I won Miss San Antonio. And I went on to compete at Miss Texas and represent my city. But I just remember in that moment thinking, you know, wow, like how many, how, how long is this really going to take me to get there? Am I doing the right thing? Like, should I kind of just let it go and move forward and try something else. But it was something that I really wanted. So I just didn't want to give up. And luckily I had, like you said, a strong support system. So I had, you know, my family, my parents, my close friends who were just so supportive. And, you know, Priscilla, just keep, just keep at it. You know, you're, you're going to win the title. You're going to represent our city well. And so I just, you know, went for it and it took three times, but Hey, <laughs> I got it. And it was a really great experience. So I think for me, that's something that I always kind of remember just how, you know, how long it really took me to get there. Yeah. And I think that is so key to always remember persistence when it's something that you really want. There is nothing yeah. like someone that just doesn't give up on their goal. And eventually they see it come to fruition because that just shows the tenacity and the resilience too, because in the process, you're yeah. not just going through a straight and narrow, smooth process. It takes a lot of resilience because you get derailed. Things happen. You fall back. You move forward. You fall back. <laughs> so it just shows the strength mm -hmm. of the person when they're able to stay focused and be tenacious. I think that it's yeah. awesome that you had your family support, too, because that's a big, big thing. For some people, they don't necessarily have a very strong family unit. Or they may have a strong family unit and they may even have strong friendships, but the goal that they're striving for is not necessarily one that their family or their friends know how to best help. I've seen where people fall into that category too. So can yes. you talk a little bit about what people can do if they don't necessarily feel like they have the kind of support that they really need for that specific goal? Sure. I think, yeah, I think um, just being very self-aware and just knowing that, you know, you can be independent and you can, you know, set goals for yourself and you really can overcome them. I do think that it does help, obviously, to have some sort of support in your life. And it doesn't, you know, like you said, it doesn't have to be family. Um, it can be close friends of yours, coworkers, people that you count on, it's like a two-way street. So I'm sure there's people that you're going to, you know, also look out for as well and be there for them. So you become like a support system for each other. But I do think that it's also really important to become independent on your own and just know that, you know, whatever you want in life, you have to just go after it. And of course, it's going to help if people are there to support you. But at the same time, you know, be your biggest cheerleader, be your biggest supporter, set those goals for yourself and just kind of like set a timeline for yourself, put it down on paper and, and make it happen. You know, just, just be independent within yourself as well. Yes. And I believe that if you have enough belief in yourself and you consistently work toward it, you will see something happen. <laughs> it's just, it, it, I, I've seen where people yeah. with the, with the craziest ideas, they end up becoming like this very successful superstar, this famous person that really doesn't do a whole lot except consistently <laughs> in their way. And so it's almost like if they yeah. could become successful with doing a bunch of nothing, <laughs> showing up in the world, how much more is someone that's <laughs> actually putting forth the effort to transform people's lives, and to actually see people develop and grow. I mean, that you're, when you're serving consistently, it will, it will thrive. <laughs> I, um, yes. I always say that it's just showing up, having the confidence and the courage to just continuously show up as your authentic self. That's really what it boils down to. Definitely, and confidence for sure. Like you said, just be confident with what you're doing. Even if it's not perfect, that's okay. <laughs> Put a smile on your face and you'll be able to fake half of it anyway, but just be confident with, with yourself and whatever you're doing. So, <laughs> Yeah, and I think that it's, um, it's interesting how, you know, sometimes we're sitting here thinking, oh, maybe this isn't good enough. But in all actuality, other people are looking at it like, wow, I wish I could put myself out there like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes we can be our worst critic and other people really don't care that much. They're just worrying about themselves a lot of times, <laughs> you know? Definitely. I think 
I, I think at the end of the day, as long as you're giving it your all, I think it's gonna it's gonna show. Even if you yeah. feel like it's not perfect, it doesn't have to be. Right, right. Talk a little bit about the correlation between taking care of ourselves and living out our core life purpose, or even if we don't even know what that life purpose is right now, and we're still trying to become more self-aware and discover ourselves, what can people do to increase their energy so that they even have the motivation and drive and vitality to want to carry out their dreams? Yeah, you know, for me, I, I'm not like this huge like work. I don't work out like all the time. I'm not like the healthiest of eaters, but I do think in general, I live like a healthy lifestyle. Like mentally, I do try. Uh, I do try really hard to be like active as much as I can. So maybe that doesn't mean always going to the gym, but I try really hard to like go out of my house and do fun things. Like I like to, you know, travel and I'll go on these like crazy hikes that. I would never would do at home, but when I travel, I will. So I think overall, though, just trying to like live a healthy lifestyle in general, especially as a new mom uh, myself, it's really important that I'm very like present in the moment, um, especially to be like a good example for my two year old. So I think um, it's it's just it's it's everything. It's not just like a physical thing, but it's like a mental thing, an emotional thing, um, whatever you can do that's going to help you be more of a well rounded individual. So for, so for me, like. For me specifically, I'm an early bird, so I really love to like wake up early, um, get my day started. Um, I'm a planner, so I have like a little uh, notepad in my phone that I keep like to do lists, not just for today, but for you know short term and even long term. So I like to keep track of everything, and I like to kind of look at that first thing in the morning to see what my tasks are for the day. And for me, this is like a mental thing, but it's it's just a way for me to to be well rounded and to kind of live a good lifestyle in general. So, you know, I think whatever works for you. So whatever, you know, maybe you're not a morning person, but maybe you want to get up and you want to go for a walk, if that's something that makes you feel better about yourself. But I think that it is really important to kind of like have that healthy, um, be, you know, to be happy within yourself. So that way you can actually, you know, reach those goals. Cause it's all about, you know, being happy and getting to that point. Yes. And for those of you that listen, are listening that do struggle in that area, I invite you to join my Nutrition for Busy Women Facebook group. It's Nutrition, the number four Busy Women Facebook group, and the link will be in the description box because it is so important for us to not only think about our general health from a physical standpoint, meaning do we exercise? Do we eat quality food and look good in a bathing suit? <laughs> it's so much deeper than that. When, when, you're, when you're trying to eat right and, and exercise just to look good aesthetically, what, what else is there? <laughs> I mean, are you okay spiritually? Are you okay emotionally? Are you okay mentally? There's so much more to it. And in my group, we don't just talk about nutrition from a food consumption standpoint, we're talking about nutrition for our mind, body, and soul. And not only that, but also how to become more self-aware and discover and enhance your life purpose. Because a lot of times when you are doing things that are things that really uh, excite you, those are things that feel more fulfilling. It feels like your, your life is more fulfilling. And sometimes it doesn't even matter that you're experiencing challenges around you when you just feel more fulfilled for the greater portion of your day. So I, I focus a lot on that. And you guys will be able to get a free assessment if you're unsure of what your gifts and your personality is, because we're all waiting for you to shine in this world. <laughs> I place a lot of emphasis on people really discovering what their unique purpose is because I just see it. I see it all the time. And you don't even necessarily have to be an entrepreneur. You can be working a nine to five. I don't have anything against nine to five. I think that if you're getting fulfillment in that, so be it. <laughs> it's, it's what works best for you and your lifestyle and what makes you happy and, and, and really lights you up. What yeah. would you like to share with your online presence because for those of you that don't already follow her on Instagram, I'm going to leave all her contact information in the description box so that you can follow her. But what would you like to share in, in regards to your intention with your Instagram account? Because when you guys follow her, you'll see that she's very, she's very personable. She's like the girl next door that's still making it happen in life. <laughs> so what is your intention? Yeah. 
For sure. So um, I have a blog. Um, it's PriscillaGutierrez.com. And I kind of talk about, it's a lifestyle blog. So I talk about, you know, motherhood, you know, being a new mom. If there are any new parents out there, I can totally relate. Um, I work full time. So I know I talk a lot about like balance, um, you know, just what to, how to balance like your family, um, your personal life, having kids. So I talk about um, being a mother. I also love fashion. I always have. <laughs> so I talk about fashion as well. And I love to travel. So living in San Antonio, yeah, there's a lot of really interesting places in the Texas area that I travel to. So I'm always, um, you know, sharing all my travel guides on there as well. I also have a YouTube channel. So if you're more of like a visual person, um, you can follow me along um, and all my fun activities. I'm constantly out in the San Antonio community. So I'm just trying to, you know, inspire others the way other people inspire me. So I just tell my story through my vlogs and through my blog. So I welcome everybody to check it out for yourself. Yes, and I absolutely love her YouTube channel. She's exactly right. If you're a visual person, you're going to enjoy it. And the way that she does her videos, it's not like a quick little 10 second video and that's it. She puts a lot of effort into it. <laughs> so I strongly <laughs> I mean, encourage you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah the travel vlogs yeah. sometimes get a little long, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's, it's so engaging. <laughs> You know, you. Um, it's something that you're, you're like, wow, I would love to be where she is right now. <laughs> so I totally, I, <laughs> yeah, I watch them too. And I'm like, go back here. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I totally encourage you guys to follow her journey. You'll, you'll light up if you ever need a dose of inspiration in your day and, and sunshine, I, you'll find it on her pages. <laughs> Priscilla, is there anything else that you want to share with these ladies that are listening from all around the world? Anything that can help empower and encourage them that maybe we didn't get a chance to talk about? You know, I just want to leave you with, you know, be confident within yourself and just love who you are and just make sure that you give your 100% in anything that you do. So not just with work, but in your personal relationships as well with your hobbies, um, just make sure that you give your 100%. Um, and yeah, girl power, you know? <laughs> Yes, thank you so much. I really do appreciate your time. She is an awesome lady, so I hope that you guys really got something from this today. And if you did, please be sure to share this out to your family and friends that may also need some inspiration. There are so many people that are walking down the street every day right past you that they have no idea how to make their dreams come true. And sometimes it's simpler than what they think to get started. It's going to require a lot of work, to make it happen but it's a lot simpler than what they think to get started and i would love to be able to help them with self-awareness and become a part of that process and if they want to collaborate and share their story or you want to share your story i am so open to that just send me a message again all my info is in the description box send me a message and let me know that you want to share a part of your story it could be something deep and challenging and completely vulnerable, or it could just be you shining your light into this world is going to resonate with the right people anyway. You guys have an awesome rest of the day. Thank you again, Priscilla. I do appreciate you so much. Bye guys. And wherever you are in the world, always remember to live a life full of meaning and purpose. I look forward to connecting with you guys in our next episode.